So welcome back to some more Bloodborne. Last time, we made our way over to Old Yarnum after getting shot by a Gatling gun guy at the top of a roof tower into which we shot off with our pistol. I didn't even realize there was a corpse here. Hi, buddy. But this time, we made it into the church where there's a yet another burning lycanthrope being crucified for some reason. And making our way deeper into Old Yarnum. We're pretty much almost done with this place, thankfully. Uh, there's really not much left to do. Uh, I'll go left first. There's only a bunch of crows. This place really isn't that bad, considering. Now they're- Ow! I see damn crows. And one thing I keep forgetting to do, I keep forgetting to do my transformation attacks. Can I stop getting freaking screwed by these crows? Oh my god. I hate these damn things. So much. Uh, because they never drop anything important. They don't give you a lot of souls, and they're just kind of there to be annoying. Also, I really need bullets, like, I didn't realize how many Quicksilver bullets I used, but, yeah, pretty bad. Uh, over here, some blood vials, and up here, we saw this a little bit a while ago while we were fighting that other hunter, the one on the ground, which, oh my god, that, the Gatling gun hunter, I can't remember his name, but he does have a name, I can't remember it, but he is a named NPC. This is a shortcut leading back up towards where, well, we fought that one hunter, so. If we need to go back to Hunter's Dream, we can. I'm not really gonna bang a fuss about it, because there will be another shortcut we'll run into. That's way better than this one, so. Along with that, the only thing we're kind of lacking on are bullets, so. Head back into the church, and I believe there is another exit. Is it up here? There should be another exit. Where the hell is it? Am I being blind? What, what's happening? <laughs> okay, there's a way to get... Okay, I'm sorry. This always confuses the hell out of me. Because it always exit out here. And then you can see a route going towards this... I don't know what cardinal direction that is. I was about to say this. Oh, it's... Wait, no. But yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Had something right, but just wrong area. <laughs> and this uh, place can kind of get scary because, uh, let me see. Yeah, these dudes will start walking around. They're, like, hiding in the smoke. Oh, hey, buddy. You're trying to scare me, aren't you? And I'm just trying to demonstrate how aggressive they are without the torch. There's not a lot of opportunities for us to use the torch, so... I really wanted to show what its uses can be outside of, well, just having a torch. And yeah, this place is infested with the lycanthrope dudes. These aren't nearly as tanky as the ones on top of the bridge from earlier, but... Anyway, be careful where you fight these guys, because yeah, there's two of them. And I kind of want to just attract one, because, you know, a 1v1's a lot better than a 2v1. Uh, are they really not going to split? These guys also get, like, kind of concerned with fire. Well, they are splitting off a little bit. I can get a jump attack on this guy. Hey, buddy. See, that's what I'm saying. Not nearly as tanky as the ones on the bridge. So. Go down, you stupid puppy. Yeah, I really got to start using my transformation attacks, because... They are very overpowered, and I just never... I keep forgetting that they that I have them, so... Used to the other Souls games. And keep in mind of this door for later, but... Yeah, for right now, we can't do anything with that door. That is locked off for the moment. We'll eventually go back over there and see what's behind there, but... For right now, there's nothing we can do. And also, uh... Yeah, I love this little area. It's very, like, <laughs> empty, but... I don't know. I guess I really like the aesthetic of it. And, uh, yeah, there's a lycanthrope on the wall there, so just try to attract him and, you know, dip. Are you really not gonna... Buddy, do you only drop if I come down this alleyway? Beast blood pellet. I'll explain what that does in a second. There we go. Boop. Yeah. So, earlier... I think last episode of the episode before that, I mentioned a thing called Beasthood. What Beasthood is, is it's a status ailment that is really weird. So when you have Beast active, 
you'll start gaining a meter called Beasthood. And, well, you only raise that up if you keep attacking an enemy over and over again. The more you attack an enemy and the higher that meter is, the more damage you will do. However, you will also start taking more damage because of Beasthood. So, you kind of turn into a glass cannon. And Beast Blood Pellets, by the way, uh, there's going to be a jump scare here. Man, he went through the door, quite literally. So, yeah, Beast Blood Pellets are actually very, very good, and they're very rare. But, um, just keep that in mind, that if you're going to use Beast Hood, that, you know, you're technically going to have less health when you fully level up that meter. So, I'll demonstrate it for the boss, because Beast Blood Pellets are very good. They're very worth your time. So, anyway, this is the... Uh, I want to go in here first, because there is a beast in here. Yeah, this guy. Let's kill him. I also want to make our way back to a uh, lamp, because... Look at how many souls we have. Uh, this over here. I'm actually going to go to the very top first before going through there. In here, fire paper. We will probably be using that very soon. But in here, yeah, this is that shortcut from when we fought that one scurrying beast. So, very, very good shortcut, and which I'm actually going to take, because, like I said, well, we need to use our echoes, but along with that, we need bullets, like, badly. Now, for the boss coming up, we don't really need bullets for. You can't really repost them, at least not easily. But along with that, I'll be using another mechanic that will kind of make the point, uh, bullets pointless for that fight. But anyway, might as well take our upgrades while we can. So I am going to Hunter's Dream. So I shall meet you guys back over to Hunter's Dream. Back into Hunter's Dream. We've got a lot of things to spend. Oh, beautiful, beautiful echoes. We have three. One, two, three. Four. Okay, no, it's four. Derp. Um, I'm gonna level up skill at least like once or twice for the damage. Um, we are gonna be getting close to getting our main weapon for the journey. We need to kill this next boss t in order to do that. So I'm gonna level up Vit twice and skill twice. I think that's fair. The more health, the better. Farewell, Things do eventually start rounding off, but that's not for a little bit for us. Um, nothing. Oh, Rope Molotov. I forgot. We got that other Hunter badge. Um, rope Molotovs are basically an exploding Molotov, and you can only throw them behind you. It's, I guess it's kind of cool if you're going into multiplayer and you want to trick some people, but I don't really use these. They're not very useful. Oil Urn, we've seen what that does. Uh, throwing Knives, they're just uh, something to attract an enemy that deals more damage than the Pebble. Uh, no new weapons. Oh, Kirkhammer. Here we are. Uh, I, actually, I talked about the Kirkhammer. It's a broadsword and a hammer. Yeah. Rifle spear, which this thing is really cool. Uh, can I see a picture of it? Yeah. So it's a spear that shoots uh, bullets. Yeah, it's really weird. Uh, stake driver, which is actually one of the most overpowered weapons in the game. It's almost like a hidden blade, but if you charge it all the way, it explodes on contact. So, and its trick form just starts using bullets as explosions from the weapon. Rifle spear is pretty much a gun and spear at the same time. And you would think, huh, maybe these are really good because they use your bullets. Ah, uh, not really. They're really not that great. I mean, stake driver can be very overpowered if you, do, if you do the right things, but rifle spear, not so much. Uh, also, I wanted to talk about the repeating pistol. Um, it's pretty much a semi-automatic that there you go yarnum set yeah i don't think there's anything new with insight is there i doubt it we haven't really killed anything else uh oh wait the ashen set the ashen set's really good Ooh. well uh how much insight do i need four uh, th okay six so we'll probably get that from the next boss i'll buy it the next time we're we get the insights. Uh, repair this. And then I could... F oh, no, I can't. I don't even have twin bloodstone shards. Okay. And then... Did I get anything... Basically, with the blood gems here, I would just say anything that increases your blunt physical attack here, because 
We're so early on in the game that it doesn't really matter. Uh, 25. And HP recovers. Not too bad. Anyway. And then we can't mess with this, can we? Nope. We'll work on... <laughs> we'll work on doing that later. But anyway. Heading back to Old Yarnum. Back to Old Yarnum. Nice thing is that we don't have to go and kill a whole wave of enemies again, so... Just take the right side. The only bad thing is that we'll have to fight some lycanthropes, probably, but... I think we've killed all the ones that are there, so we can just skip them. Just head all the way down here without killing ourselves. <laughs> we will have to worry about the beast guy in here, because he does kind of patrol this little tower. Uh, not you. I don't really care about you. Where is the other one? There you are. We almost two tap you now. Okay. So where's the like? Oh wait, he was right here. Boop. Okay, you are gonna be an asshole, aren't you? Bring it. Oh, okay, you're being very odd. <laughs> what the hell was that? All right. Oh, that's good. Nothing new to kill there. Uh, nothing in here. Oh, also. Screechy boy. It's this guy just randomly screaming in the alleyway here. He doesn't even do anything. I don't even think he can attack you. I don't know why he does that. I guess just to scare the piss out of you. But I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> I really don't understand it. Um, Up here. Let's grab this. I swore there was a scurrying beast around. Maybe I accidentally... Oh, no. He should be up here. There he is. Get his ass. Scurrying beast. Up, oh, I missed completely. There we go. Just in case if you accidentally miss the scurrying beast, you can always reload, like, right back up to the top of the stairs and, well, get him. Oh, there's an item here. I didn't even know that. More bold hunter's marks. Always appreciated. And, yeah, we're pretty much at the end of old Yarnum. Yeah, that, we did not have a lot to do. Um... Okay, so first of all, there are a few enemies around here, and then there's something I want to grab. So, here's this. Okay, where are... I hear you. Yeah, there you are. Just kill you. And don't fret if you think it's taking forever to kill these guys, because we are doing fine damage. It's just, it's just these guys are really tanky. Um. Okay, let's grab this. And then, yeah, you're here. Yeah, you're jackass. Pretty sure. Ow! What the hell? All right, dickhead. All right. Um, I think that's all the enemies. I think. Okay, there's the. Th okay, I was looking for that. Ugh. So, remember I mentioned before that, that you can do now. Yeah, you can now do summons. Um, you can summon Alfred here if you talk to him, and I actually am going to do that. You can see that beasthood meter rising for no reason. It costs one insight every time you want to summon an NPC or another hunter by your choice. I am not going to be doing multiplayer, like, summons or anything like that. Just in-game summons. So, yeah. Vile Blood Hunter Alfred. Who's using a Kirk Hammer, actually. So, this boss coming up ahead. I recommend having beast blood pellets and antidotes. But also... Uh, actually, okay, hold on. Let me scrap everything that's in here. I need to clear some stuff out. Beast blood pellet. Uh, fire paper. And then antidote, in case we need it, because this boss will try to poison you. But also, pungent blood cocktail. Trust me on this. So, I'm going to top off my health. And, uh, yeah, in here is an enemy called the Bloodstarf Beast, a.k.a. Susie Skin Flaps. So, I'm going to pop my Beast Blood Pellet, my Fire Paper, and then as soon as we walk into the room here, it's going to start chasing after you. Throw a cocktail to the right. It is a beast, which means it will get attracted by the cocktail. And yeah. Let's throw another one. Yoink. And yeah. It will prioritize the cocktail instead of, well, you. And Alfred here is just going to be used as bait for the most part. So, 
Case in point. I'm going to try to get a visceral. There we go. And you can see how much damage we're doing. Yeet. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, Susie. Yeah, just run into a corner. Uh, how did I hit that? Okay, whatever. And then there's the poison. Throw another cocktail. Ow, ow. Oh, she grabbed me. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. We need to heal off now. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay, antidote. We'll just let Alfred deal with her for a sec. That was really freaking dangerous. I forgot she can grab you. Throw another cocktail. Whoa, hey there. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, she likes to poison. Pop another fire paper. I'm trying not to let her hit me. Okay. Oh, God. I do not care if I use all these cocktails. Get off, Alfred. Where are you going? Okay. Keep damaging. I'm not going to pop another blood pellet because I don't think we'll need it. Let's go for the kill. Yeah, there we go. Blood Starf Beast, a.k.a. Susie uh, Skin Flaps. And we get a Thumaru Chalice. Thank you, my vile blood hunter friend. Goodbye. If you have problems with Susie Skin Flaps there, do not worry. She is pretty hard. As you can see, she almost killed me. <laughs> I'm surprised I got away with that. I got it away with a grab. Uh, there's an item back here. Antidotes. So, yeah. Just try to play your distance with her. If you have Alfred, use him as bait. He does live for quite a while. He doesn't do a ton of damage, mind you. Like, the summons are not going to carry you in the fight. But they do get the attention off the enemy if you need it. So... And when she's in second phase, she will poison just by standing near her. Uh, near her, And if she attacks you, well, you can get poisoned pretty easily. So anyway, I'm going to head back to Hunter's Dream. Back into Hunter's Dream. Uh, we, I think I can get some level ups from you. Uh, I'm not going to use... Okay, I'm just going to level up once. I'm going to level up uh, Vit. We're going to need our echoes for something later. So, let me check you. Do I do you have anything new? I doubt it. Uh oh, ritual blood. Um I'll get into what that is in a second. Cuz uh that Thumaru chalice unlocks a whole another mechanic in the game and I will just wait for that. Um I'm actually going to buy the gray hunter set. So, let me do I have I should have yeah, I'll use one. Like I said, don't go crazy with the insight because it is a losable material. So just grab the Ashen Sets. I'll go put it on because the, the Ashen Sets are really cool. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay, so first of all, we're going to be getting into something completely different. But first, I have to be in online mode, so I'll meet you guys back in a sec. Now, do not worry if you're going into online and thinking, Oh god, people are going to kill me because, well, invasions are a thing. Invasions only happen in this game if you're with other people. There's, cer there's a few circumstances in which that is not the case, but for the majority of the game, if you're playing solo and you play online, you're not going to get invaded unless if you really want to. But for this whole mechanic here, chalices, the chalice dungeons. So, the chalice dungeons are weird. So we can do a ritual. Um, we only have the Thrumaru chalice, so we'll put that in there. And then we'll conduct the ritual. We need ritual blood for this, which we got earlier. There we go. You can only do this if you're an online. And we're going to be doing a couple of them. Not many. Uh, keep this in mind. The Chalice Dungeons are f stupid. I hate them so much. Because for 100%, you have to go through hundreds of them. Because there is a specific boss that is in the end of the end of the Chalices. Who's not even that hard. I've never fought her, but... 
uh, I, I've never done it because it is such a monotonous task to go through all these chalice dungeons. I'll explain once we're in there, but we do want to do the first two depths of Chamber of the Seal. Trust me on this. So what chalice dungeons are, they are randomly generated dungeons that can have random items in them and, well... Yeah, they, they house a lot of weird stuff. The Chalice Dungeons are meant to be your end game loot grinding area where the best of the best blood gems are in here, the best of the best weapons are in here. Um, but as a result, there are some really terrifying things. For the moment though, I believe this first dungeon is not randomly generated. So we should be all right. Uh, these guys can hit pretty hard. I'd say they're on the difficulty of like, I don't know, probably old Yarnum, just a little bit. And there are exclusive enemies that are in Chalice Dungeons like these guys. These guys don't pop up anywhere else. They're really odd. So they're really skinny, dude. Holy crap, you do way more damage than I thought. Holy Jesus. Okay, bad skin dudes. What the hell are you? And the guys with the hoods are just a little tankier. Is one of them just throwing mollies? Yeah, he's throwing it into a rock. Wow. You are a smart guy, huh? So, yeah, for the purpose of the LP and all that, I am not going through all the Chalice Dungeons. I'm sorry, but this crap sucks after a very long time. Be my guest if you want to go through them. And there is something I will explain that makes the process easier to get through, but for right now... And for the sake of the LP, I am not going through every... Oh, I need to jump back down. Yeah, we need to find a switch to uncover that room. But anyway, the, the, the I honestly hate the Chalice Dungeons. A lot of people feel the same where they're like... They're just way too long. And to get to the very end of where you're wanting to go, you have to get different Chalice materials from one dungeon and get it from another dungeon. That gets you into another dungeon, which is another side dungeon. Like... It's really dumb. Also, these red guys are just constantly being summoned. There's a bell ringing lady right here. That's the lady you will see if you have invasions turned on. So, get some quicksilver bullets. Uh, oh, there's a tubby boy up here. he kill you first. Tubby guys are really easy. I say as I get hit. Uh, they're mostly like the ogres. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Back off, back off, back off. What the hell? Okay. Go down here. Heal. I didn't know there was another skinny dude next to him. Okay, I need to kill you first, because you're going to be an ass. Oh, my God. Really? And I get poisoned. This is just annoying. Okay, you die. All right. I got to get used to these tubby dudes later, because they'll turn into a boss. Like, they're just tanky more than anything. And they hit, like, a truck. Okay, die. Jesus. <laughs> but like I said, these guys, yeah, tempering blood ge uh, gemstone. Lots of gemstones in here that are very worth your time, but like I said, if you're going for specific things, I'll go into explanation later about how to get those specific things without having to run a country mile for all this stuff, but for right now, just trust me on this. We'll be all right. Uh, the, o the only thing that's concerning me is the first like boss because these guys they don't have a ton of health mind you they just have a crap ton of damage and this first boss is no exception so do keep in mind though if you die um all your checkpoints and all that are still open so if you die it's not that big of a deal as long as you remember where to go so we should be good over here there we go hopefully i can i can get these two things done before the end of the episode, because in here... Yep. Undead Giant. Check over here. Yeah, this guy is just really tanky, but that's only seemingly so. Yeah. He does not like taking damage. So. But he can hit like a truck, which is kind of dangerous, so just try to stay behind him and dodge when appropriate. Ow, what the hell is that? Oh my god, he took more than half of my health. Jesus, dude. Yeah, so stay topped off. This guy can get really dangerous. Oh my god, oh my god. 
He does give you ample opportunity to, like, back off, but, like I said, he could be really freaking dangerous. He is starting to bleed. How did that, that hit me? All right. Oh, no. Dude. Okay, you're pissing off over there. I'm scared of that slam. Jesus. Okay. About to run out of vials here. To which case, I'm going to have to rely on some other stuff. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Repost. And try to get the kill. Oh, no. I'm just going to play it safe. There we go. Again, do not feel bad if that guy kills you. He hits like a truck. So, anyway. You can take this down. And you can freely leave the dungeons when, uh, whenever you wish. I'm just going to take the second lantern down here because that's going to be easier for fast travel. But these do act as checkpoints for later. So, uh, is there... Okay, if there's not a lantern here, I'm just going to go back up. There should be one, though. Yeah, there we go. Lantern. So, yeah, so I'm going to quickly hop back into the Hunter's Dream and, well, get my stuff back. Back in here. Told you you can fast travel back here. As I said, though, don't feel bad if the undead giant kills you because, I mean, you can just run right past there and grab your stuff and go fight him again. But, yeah, these guys in here do hit like a truck. We're technically not even supposed to be in here just yet, but since we took care of Bloodstarved Beast first we can do whatever we want for the moment. I think it's down here we want. Just be careful with a lot of these guys, because these guys are going to hit even harder. Like I said, they're not tanky, per se. They're just freaking trucks. Is this where we want to be? If so, that's really nice timing. Uh Oh, it's a chaw in this guy. Okay. These guys are bad. Oh. All right, grab the chest and run. Grab the chest and run. Ritual blood, that was not worth it. Okay. Those are body snatchers. Do not... Oh, okay. I set off a trap. Yep, just run. <laughs> just run. <laughs> we don't need to fight those. Uh, please don't tell me he's going to chase me. You should eventually lose aggro, right? Oh, hey. I did not see you there, buddy. I was paying, paying attention behind me. Okay. You die. You die. Up. Uh, you can stay down there. Holy crap, you do a ton of damage. Okay. Yeah, so the dude with the body bags are body snatchers. Do not mess with them. They hit way too hard, and unreasonably so. So yeah, just don't do that. Um, don't drop down. Just kill these two. Um, I don't... Okay, hi. Hi, friend. I think there is a... I thought I killed you. Okay. Oh, yeah, there... no, there is nothing down there. Okay. Where are you guys coming from? Oh, you're still coming from the trap. Okay, I'm gonna run in here first. Uh, yeah, there. Oh, wait, no, you're coming from here. Die, bitch. Oh, God. Oh, no, you are coming from the trap. Okay, yeah, so the switch is in here. Uh, with Tubby Guy guarding it. Uh, which I. Oh, hi. You're gonna be causing issues later. I'm just gonna run for it and grab the switch, because you don't need. Oh, God. Yeah, this one rolls. He kind of looks like a Dark Souls 2 character. Oh. Okay, run. Run. Okay. And cursed gemstone something. I still hear him. What is he doing? Okay. Well, we know where to go now, so we just need to book it. Um, Actually, do I remember where to go? I think I do. It's like back where we came from. So hop down here. We're only going to be facing two major bosses in here, and then we'll never touch these Chalice Dungeons ever again. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, at least for completion's sake, I am not doing these, because these things suck. So yeah. Let's go in here. And for another boss fight. Now, this one can get tricky. It's three of these fat dudes that we faced earlier. Um, my suggestion is try to repost. They're easy to repost. They just hit hard. One of them has a gun, and the other two, I think, have butcher knives. Ow. Okay, well. Try to play your range, too. Okay. Let's grab this. Just gonna top off. Dude! Oh my god, this is gonna be complicated. 
Okay. Just try to get a good timing with one of them. Yeah, so one of them just keeps shooting a pistol at you. They do not take a lot of damage, so... Ow! Oh my god. 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 Okay. Run. Just run. <laughs> Use my positioning. Uh, I keep suggesting that myself, and I just kill myself. God, dude, really? Why do you just stab? Don't do the stabbies. There we go. Is that the other one? No, that's you. And kind of stun the other one as a result. Ow! The gun with the, uh, the one with the gun is gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, knock you down. We can kill the guy next to you with our range or not. Like I said, the one with the gun is gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, now it's just you. All right, kill you. Like I said, these guys aren't really that bad. They're just annoying as hell. So. Just play a range. Like, I need to take my own advice. There. There's that one. And yeah, he's just going to keep shooting you over and over. So, he doesn't really try to fight. Uh, He will eventually, though. Yeah, like, he'll smack you with the lamp, and that's about it. But he does not do a ton of damage. He's mostly there just to stagger you and piss you off. So, but if you're up in your face like this, he can't really hit you all that well, besides with the lamp. So I'm just going to play it safe. Just screw this guy. And now he pulls out the club. Alright, come on. Ow. You're arguably way more uh, dangerous like this, bro. Just saying. Alright, come on. I can shoot you too, bro. Alright, just wait for you to finish that combo. Dude, what is this range? Why do you not give a shit? Okay, you were being very annoying, actually. Just play the range. Actually, I could probably just shoot you. There you go. Jackass. I really, I don't like that fight. Uh, and then we get a Thumaru Root Chalice. And to which I say we're pretty much done with the Chalice Dungeons. Ugh, I'll explain probably in the next episode since we're at time, but just meet me back in Hunter's Dream. And back in Hunter's Dream, thank God that's over. I, like I said, I despise the Chalice Dungeons a lot from previous pain. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end things off there. There is a reason why I did all of that. I'll explain next episode, but for now, I'm going to end things off there. So... Next time on Bloodborne, I think we'll be starting to get our gear set up. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.